Oh, I love this. Oh! Hello mates, my name is Risk and welcome to a somewhat competent recording setup. Welcome to the organ quarter. Now I know what you may be thinking, Risk Cream, you've played this game before. Yes, I have. Uh, I've never completed it and I was just... I wasn't really enjoying myself. The recording setup was annoying. Uh, now I have a better recording setup, so hopefully it's gonna turn out great. Hopefully everything sounds great and if the audio quality sounds good, it's because I'm using a small microphone on my shirt. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, I'm finally inside the game. Uh, I'm gonna be very careful because I have a lot of cables in my feet. One for the microphone and one for the headset. So I'm gonna try and not fall and break anything. So we're gonna be choosing the survival horror difficulty. And there we go. Simple as that. Hopefully the recording doesn't screw up. And hopefully we're just gonna have good fun. So, uh, I really like this game, because it takes the idea of taking a survival horror game and just giving the guns, putting it in your hands. So, I really, really like it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think, since I have technically two monitors, one for my left eye and one for my right eye, I believe you guys are seeing what I'm seeing, but only for my left eye. So sometimes if you see me aiming through a weapon, you might not see the aim down sight then. So I might just use my left eye, even though I usually use my right eye, just so you guys can see what I see exactly. So let's see, I might just screw up though, since I chose the survival uh, horror difficulty, and I, um... And well, I'm gonna be using a different eye than I usually use for aiming. Use the side grips to grab and interact with objects. Like this? Okay, there we are, in the courtyard. Now... Damn, this is gonna be so cool. The audio is very loud though. You can't see it, there is now a menu on the screen for me. Okay, I reduced the audio a little bit because the audio was killing my ears. Let's see, offhand controller. Use it to open your inventory and drag and drop items and weapons. So this door requires a key item. We're gonna look for it. Uh, sometimes if, if I don't want to turn around too much, then I can use the controller stick and I can just snap. But uh, I installed this uh, small microphone or the mosquito mic, so I would be able to move around more freely because when I was recording uh, in this setup without this uh, small microphone, I was always uh, taking off my headset to make sure I'm facing the mic and the camera. But now if I don't face the camera, it's your, it's your, your problem! Would you believe it? <laughs> Okay, uh, what, what, where, where's the key item? Is it... what do I do? Oh, I have a key item! Remember this cube opens the door in my dream. Boop! Also, there is... I, I think the... oh, there it is. I was about to say, I think there was a basketball. Alright. Can I do it? Oh. Ooh. Eeh! Okay. I'm uh, glad I cut that in editing. I didn't want you guys to see how I, I destroy it. Offhand controller. Push down a trackpad to sprint. Eh. Use railings to climb the stairs. Be careful, use handrails. Coolio. Am I looking at you guys? Yeah. This game was made by Outer Brain Studios. Uh, I really like the idea of having a survival horror game in a VR setting. I'm sure it's gonna happen, like we're gonna get an even bigger game than just this. Uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna be by the same studio though. It's probably gonna be by someone else. But I'm sure we're gonna eventually get like a big grand adventure in uh, VR. Because uh, I took j ammo to my handgun. Because one of the criticisms I have for this video game is the fact when you shoot, you don't reload your handgun by yourself. You have to press a button and the gun reloads itself, which I feel is a really, really big missed opportunity here, uh, since the whole idea is, uh, you know, taking advantage of the VR, uh, especially when you're playing a survival horror setting. Uh, in a survival horror setting, uh, reloading a gun by hand would add a lot more uh, tension, and you get better at it as you get better at reloading your gun and dealing with situations. Uh, and sadly, we don't see it here, but Hey, I mean, a survival horror on the VR, I'll take what I can get. Uh, there is other games, but they're not exactly survival horror. I'm not sure. There is also a game called Saint and Sinners uh, of The Walking Dead. 
Oh, I'm aiming with my right eye. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'll see. I'll try and aim with my left eye and see how it works. I don't. I don't think I'll. Oh, I gotta reload my handgun. Excuse me. Oh, I'm right aiming with my right eye again. Excuse me. Oh my god, this is gonna be. It's gonna be difficult for me. I usually aim with my right eye. Oh god damn it. So I have only five shots per mag. Sure, I'll take it. So how much ammo do I have? I have 12, sure. Anyway, exits this way. And my uh, flashlight is atta attached to the gun. Drag onto your body and the way to restore health. Okay. Okay. <laughs> There we go. Now, I have played this game before. I think I'm supposed to go through this door, but there is something here. Oh, and this is what I really like about this game. If you want to save the game, you have to stick your head in this TV. Ew. Uh, and I have numerous save files. Because Oh, wait. I can't save just yet. Okay. So this is just the opening cutscene. Oh man. I don't play much VR. Because I generally get really, really sick. But every time I come back to it, I'm always blown away. <laughs> just the fact we can do this. It's really, really strange, let me tell you. I, I think I'm pointing at the camera. I think. Actually, I know I'm pointing at the camera. That's how good I am. I know, I know. Good YouTuber, huh? Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, it was an experimental procedure. Well, I'm a little sick. You had no other choice. You had no other choice. <laughs> it was too. Holy crap, I feel like I'm losing balance. Oh no, it's just the ground falling. Oh, okay. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, my gun is gone. The organ quarter. Alright, I'm pumped. Let's do it. Let's do it. Full let's play of a survival horror game. On the VR, but still. I know y'all wanted me to do a let's play for Silent Hill, so... I'll see when I can work on that. I just need a lot of free time. Which I don't really... Well, I do have. If I cut out on other projects. So maybe I can do that once I get uh, unmotivated. Who knows? Who knows? Anyway, uh, recording should be easier, but something that I hate about VR is when uh, games use the floor. Because I hate crouching. I ain't crouching. Especially with a VR, crouching feels awkward. It really, really does. And also, my favorite survival horror trope, you can find things in the toilet. So you can finally feel like a true survival horror veteran. Anyway, I should probably go and uh, get out of my apartment. Looking outside the window. Well, it's just uh, buildings. <laughs> I thought I'm gonna. Ow. It's me. Uh, I just wanted to check in on you. Haven't seen you in over half a year. A year? Not even sure if you're still in town. Listen, if you're here in the organ quarter, why don't you come out tonight? Meet me at the movie theater. I. Won't take no for an answer. As your doctor, I'm prescribing you a dose of society and entertainment. <laughs> See you soon. Okay, thank you, doctor. I'm glad the doctor really cares for me. Can I enable subtitles? Let's see, ho hold on. Options, locomotion, teleport. Nope. No subtitles, whatever. So like I said, I have multiple save files. Uh, we're gonna be uh, deleting them. I don't care about them anymore. I'm just going to be recording the game from its entirety, from beginning to end. 
I don't know how long it's gonna take me actually because I'm probably gonna do it in the span of multiple days since again I feel very sick when I play in VR okay so you heard my doctor I need a prescription I I've been prescribed a dosage of society okay uh, this is my box this is where I store all my items that's why it's empty and uh, yeah we're good to go can I check the fridge oh oh man uh, I wish there was more inter interactivity with this game. Oh, what's this? Off-hand controller. Open your map, then use your main hand to leave stamps. How do I do that? How do I open map? Oh, like that. Oh, I left a stamp. There you go, I can delete stamps. Anyway... I'm not sure... Does it say which apartment I am in? No. I'll have to leave and see it for myself. Okay. I'm outside my apartment. 705. Uh, 705? Oh, my Oh, it says right there. Excuse me, sorry. Um, I'm gonna point it towards my left eye so y'all can see the, the thing as well. Anyway. What kind of markings do we have here? Circle? Stuff? More stuff. Okay. Alright. Let's see if we can get out of this building. And by that I mean- up. Oh, I need a gun to deal with it. You guys already saw me in the beginning shooting a door with a gun. Because it had a little bit of an icky sticky situation. 706. Anyway. This is a world where weapons are used as keys. Would you believe it? And also you can check around here. Oh! Oh, there's an item there. Okay, cool, I got it. A medical syringe filled with viscous. Press onto the body to recover a small amount of health. Would you believe it? <laughs> okay, sorry. I'll just uh, get around. 707. Locked. 714. What else do we have here? 708. 708 is open. Um, there is something over there. What is that? It's a very old TV is what it is. Right? Damn. It looked like something really cool. Also, is there something in here? Can I... Do I crouch? <gasps> Ammo. So, the crouching part is gonna get old very fast. I can tell. Maybe if I crouch by squatting. Maybe that, that'll be better. Yeah. I think that'll be better. Anyway... Oh, oh I see something. I'm gonna keep this mostly... Unedited. I know y'all like it when I don't edit that much. So that's what we'll do. Oh, do I have tissues on me in case I sneeze? I don't. I'm such a professional Let's Player. Okay. So yeah, I hope my mosquito mic is, uh, is paying off. We have some sort of a puzzle here. I've done this puzzle before, you just need to find another doll to fit with these guys so they're not lonely in there. And as you can see, the prize is a full-fledged handgun and a, a little bit of ammo. Oh boy, can't wait to shoot it. Alright, let's get out of here. Let me just use this door and get out. Ah, so the organ quarters also features boss fights, so expect big meat things shooting down. By the way, 708 had something in it, so I'm gonna mark it in my map. It's, uh, it's the X, we're gonna take the X, 708, right here. I'll signal the door for me. There we go. All right, uh, did I try seven? Oh, excuse me, I'm going backwards. 713, did I try it? 713 is also open, but let's see if it has anything worth of note. One, two, four, three. Oh, okay. I, I think I know this puzzle too. 
I've played this game like years ago. Favorite horror trope, baby. <laughs> Ammo in the toilet. What kind of a faucet is it? Doesn't belong here in the toilet room, that's for sure. Unless if that's how they looked back in the day. Oh, there is nothing in the trash though. By the way, this game features a lot of notes. So I'll just point them towards my left eye. But I won't be able to read them because it's very difficult. My hand is very jaggy. I don't know why, it just is. Like if I hold something like this, it'll slightly move. But the writing is really hard to read, you know? So I, th I, I, I was just hoping there, that there'd be like a solution for it, but this game never patched any of those. So one, two, three, four. We need to put here four things, which we don't have yet. But definitely there is something strange in this room. It's a puzzle thing, and we got all the items we needed. So I'm already gonna take, I'm gonna take the yellow one, and I'm gonna signify this room, which is 713. There you go. That'll do it. I'm not even gonna try and correct it, because uh, we'll be here all day. All right, all right. Down the corridor we go. Oh, man. So recording in this fashion is a lot more involved. As you can see, I'm standing up. I'm not sitting on the chair. So I might get fatigued quickly, since I'm standing up. And I'm only used for sitting. Now, something I really like in uh, horror games is flashlights because, you know, you shine your light on things and then it ga gives you this atmospheric look of, like, the shadows moving. I really like it, especially in VR because your movement are kind of natural. I don't know, I feel like a full-fledged survival horror game, like a AAA kind of deal, would be amazing for VR. Alright, 7-10. 7-10 is uh, doing a thin, and by that I mean it's locked. There is some, some meat over there. Ooh, stepping on some meat. Just a good old day. 7-0-1. Uh, we hear some whispers. It's fine. Uh, sir? <laughs> I can, <laughs> I can pretend finally to be Leon Scott Kennedy. Freeze! I should freeze! <laughs> I don't know why I really like that scene from Resident Evil. There is a thing here. I already know this because I remember this section vividly. This area in particular. Uh, we're just gonna leave this gentleman. Uh, he's not gonna harm me, I'm not gonna harm him. Simple as that. Some light here. There he is. He's eating a little bit of meat, and sh he's shaking it. He's shaking it pretty good. Might lose monetization for that. All right, I got a doll. And also there is a room here. You okay, buddy? I think he's okay. All right. Now, I think I'm still facing the camera. Oh, what's that? There is something here. I can't pick it up. It's uh, nothing, it's uh, background stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna go all the way around. I don't wanna bother the individual. He's blocking the path somewhere else. And also, if you see here, there is two pieces of meat which are um, lumps that I can shoot. Anyway, I dealt with him. So yeah. So as I was saying, I don't know if I was saying this before, but uh, I know I'm generally in front of the camera. Because I don't move the position of my legs much. So I know th that I'll generally be standing in front of the camera. However, while playing, I might just be a little bit off. Just a little bit. 702. By the way, what did we find? We found a doll which will give me access to a gun. I say let's do it. Wait. Did we investigate here? Nah, we might run into enemies. I'm gonna go and get my handgun real quick. Uh, so the handgun was in 708, right? So I'm gonna be heading straight there. What in a lovely apartment complex. I really like my neighbors and everyone. You know, I really feel like a community city, you know? 
There's something charming about seeing my neighbor eating meat and shaking. Alright. Hello, gentlemen. I bet you're a little friend. Some sort of strange figurine. Ah! Shh, sit down here. Know your place. Get in there. Okay. Violence. Let's do it. And I grabbed it with my left hand and I did some my right. I usually... I think handguns I usually aim with my left hand. I don't know. I don't know why. Sometimes I do action with my left hand. Sometimes I don't. I'm a right hand kind of guy. But let's go. Okay, so let's go back to the previous gentleman we've seen and ask him if he he, he can uh, help us out here. We do need some stuff. All right, I'm coming in there. Three. Oh, he's gone. I don't see him anywhere. I can shoot these. Oh, I love this. Oh! Let's get out of here. He's getting too close to me. Oh! Okay, I got him. Damn, he's really quick. I ran out of there. All the way to the hall, and he was on top of me. Damn. And the low ammo count in my handgun is not making it better. I hit him like what? Four headshots and he didn't and he just then went down? What happened if I hit a body shot? I would die! Wait, I see ammo. Okay. Um this game is a bit weird, right? When you get close to a wall and then you try and push like your hand or something, it'll sometimes push you away. So when I try and get ammo, it actually gets further and further away the more I stretch my hand, which is very awkward. Uh, which is okay. This game is, uh... It's okay. It's not perfect, but, um... We can see all the issues going here. And knowing those issues, we can improve on the next game, when someone else makes it. Anyway, sorry friend. This is what we do to meet around here. There's a medkit. Uh, blue ammo. Shotgun shells, each stack holds up 12. Whoo! Sounds great. Behind the door, maybe? No, see, the... The wall pushes me away when I push my head on the wall. I'm sure it's some sort of, like, a thing to make sure I don't clip out of bounds or something, but really annoying when you're trying to pick up something. I'll, I'll be more, more mindful of my head position when I pick up something so I don't get pushed away. Anyway, I really don't know why this game doesn't give you a melee weapon, like an axe or something. That's, like, survival horror, like, staple. I don't understand. Okay. I got some shells, which is good, because it means eventually I'll get a shoddy. Okay, we'll continue our investigation down this area. 702 was locked, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> I really like how you can see my open hand. I wish there was some sort of an animation that would show my hand grabbing the handgun when I get it close. I think it's like that in Half-Life Alex when you do that. Not entirely sure though. I can open a way back if I shoot this squiggly thing. I was aiming with my right eye, so again, apologies. I know you guys would like to see the action, but I cannot control which recording you see, if it's the left eye or right eye or... Oh, hello! Hello, guys! <laughs> What you say? I read the comments you wrote. <laughs> Be very mindful about what you say about my skills in the game. <laughs> uh, oh, hello lady. Sorry. I don't know why I said sorry. This seems weak. Oh, hello. 
Oh, hello. A bit rude of you to walk in here without knocking. I could have been completely undressed. That would have been uncomfortable. Yes, ma'am. It's nice to see you emerge from your apartment anyway. You might have died in there. I'm sure you thought about it, dying all alone. With the stench of rot in these walls, nobody would have found your corpse. Hmm. How romantic. Hey, when you die, can I have your skin? Sure. Sorry, I'm just joking around. You me too. Can get back to me on that. I'm going out for a drink later. You should join me. Jupiter's Belly, out near the university, on the edge of the organ quarter. We could use each other's company, I'm sure. Take care. For now. Let me just get out. Oh. Truly a survival horror experience. Dates. Anyway. Oh. Excuse me. No. Uh, let me delete those. Anyway. Uh, 703 is locked. So I, <laughs> I guess we'll have to go somewhere else. Each other's company. Not in a million years. Nuh-uh. Oh, I hear music. What else? Sorry guys, I'm very thorough with my investigation. Trying to not bump my head. Nothing in the fridge. Or at least in the back of it. The music is coming from this radio. Can't stop it. Hopefully it's not copyrighted. Hey, there's the note I've been talking about. So first of all, why it's very jaggy is because I have to hold the triggers. Uh, which is very uncomfortable. These buttons are not meant to be held. These buttons are meant to be clicked at. So, uh, I don't know. I, I really don't like it. Uh, anyway, you can read it, I guess. It's very difficult to read for me. Oh, there is a jar with a love. Finally, something for me. Oh, it's empty. Ah! <laughs> Why is it always like that? Okay, there is nothing else in this room for me, at least not as... As far as I could tell. Sorry, I said if I crouch, I crouch with my uh, legs, not my back. Okay, there's nothing really in this room. There's a note with some lore, but you guys can read it. I can only read it after the fact. Alright, what the hell am I supposed to do? This entire area... Oh yeah, the exit! Sorry, boy. Hey, does it shoot? Just kidding! <laughs> um, so, such a professional. Oh, I remember you. I remember this section. I just don't... I don't think he grabs me, but... What? I'm out of space? Okay. So I'll go back to my, um... Apartment here. I thought there was somebody in my room, excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna open this and I'm gonna store some stuff here because I don't have space. I'm gonna take the shells. Pistol ammo encased in strange substance. I cannot use it. Well, put it in here. What are you? Uh, I have four syringes. I really don't need those. I, I mean, three. And I have a lot of ammo. I'll store some of it here. No, I wanted to store the 24 one. Oh wait, there we go. There we go. I haven't encountered any enemies yet, so... 
Uh, I'm just saving my uh, supplies. And there we go. Save. Cool. Anyway, let's go to the exit and uh, hopefully deal with uh, some anxiety and stuff. That will be great. I'm stepping on some cables. That's not, not fun. There we go. All right, making my way out. Oh yeah, I should probably pick up the love, jo love jar that I've seen. I just um, didn't have space. Oh, what a lovely painting. D -d oh, oh, she gone. Okay, I guess my imagination. Where the hell was the love jar at? I know, it's kind of a weird sentence to say. I know. But trust me, I didn't choose this. Um, I guess it was the last door here? One of these doors had a love jar. There it is. Why is it in the floor? Who would throw the love jar in the floor? Inconsiderate. Alright. We're getting out of here. Let's get out of here. I have a lot of space in my inventory. Oh, another syringe. Great. I need to grab the handrails. I, I don't know why I didn't grab the one closest to me, but... There we go. We're just going down. Uh, I'm not tapping anything. My controller, I guess, is broken or something. Yeah, that's uh, a long way down, which I can, and I'm not gonna. But I could fall down if I wanted to, it seems like. Alright, I'll use the door. Uh-oh. This is, seems a, a little more Silent Hill-ish. Because everything is, like, corroded. I can go in there. There's an invisible wall, so I can't fall down. Okay. I'll just uh, walk around with my handgun out. I don't see anybody. This wall of flesh doesn't have any lumps I can shoot out, so it might be... I might be able to open it from the other side then. 612. Well, the corridor seems uh, out of commission. We'll have to go into 612. Oh no, there is two of them. I don't think I want to fight this, do I? Oh, screw this. Oh. Dead. Uh-oh. That was a lot of better performance than I expected, not gonna lie. Have about... how much ammo? Have about 11 bullets overall. Ew, what did I pick up? Okay, it's a syringe, but it looked like encased with like, strange substance. That was disgusting. Oh, uh, no, I said I'd squat, I did... not the back. Alright, uh, there's another syringe in here, sure. I'll take it. Ammo in the trash! Finally! Anyway, I killed these guys. I might have to sprint through here. But we'll see. There is hiding spots I see. There is like this cabinet. And then this. Also, I think there is something underneath here, if I remember correctly. I uh, can't tell. Yeah, yeah, there is something underneath here. There you go, I picked it up. It's another syringe. Uh, I might just throw some on the ground. I can't be bothered to go back to my box and use it. And, and throw it in there. Oh no, I can use the syringe to get the ammo. Yeah, I lost about a little bit of health. Boop. Oh. Oh, not, not there. Okay, it restores a little bit of health, so it might make sense to have a bunch of those. Nothing behind here. Oh, okay. Uh, again, uh, crouching gets old really quickly. Really, really quickly. Oh. Where do 
gonna go from here. There is another syringe behind the toilet. Uh, I can't be bothered. Can I? There you go. I thought I might be able to just pick it up and use it straight away, but they, it always goes into my inventory, apparently. Okay. We should be on the other side of the destroy corridor. Oh, I heard something. I'll use my left eye. Sorry, sir. You've expired. 602. So, if you remember, there was a meat door around here, so this might be the one-way ticket I've been talking about. There's just a long corridor here. Leading on... Oh, there's a TV. And there's the meat wall I've been talking about. There is ammo right there. Yeah, sure, this is fine. No, this is cool, this is great. I like this. This is the true survival horror experience. Guys, I can't get up. I'm just making sure if there is anything else down here that it'll come to me. Because I don't want to keep crouching. Okay. I don't see any anything more down there. Ammo and uh, shells. All right, let's see. Uh, what else? I'm gonna throw the love in here. Mm, I'm gonna throw it here. I'm gonna take this. Eventually we're gonna come across a shoddy, right? Eventually. We have eight shells. Uh, a little bit of health, some ammo. We'll be good. This is all we need, really. We're minimalistic, I'd say. Uh-oh. Okay. Coolio. Oh, the shoddy! I told you we'll come across one. What's that? A jar with an image of a foot. It appears to be filled with toenails. Oh, okay. No, I, I know what to do with it. To the trash. Okay. Oh. I hit something by accident. Whoops. Okay, sorry. Sorry about that, gentlemen. Uh, a lot of cables, my feet. Okay. Uh, sure. Oh, there's a note here. There you go. Note number two. Uh, go ahead and read it. Hold on, let's uh, step in the light so y'all can see it. There you go, I think you should be able to see all of it. Oh, yeah, I'll leave it there. Stick my head in the TV, my favorite thing. There we go. Ah, oh, okay, so it said something about other click. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's just the child in me. Finally getting to be in a survival horror. Oh yeah, we unlocked the door that I said. Uh, is there a way around? Cool, I didn't want to crouch. All right, let's head back on track to where we were. Everything is saved, everything is good, and we can use this as a backtrack. Okay, I killed one guy in here, he disappeared. He might have wandered somewhere at Oh, he did. Oh, uh, do I shoot him from there? I'm using my left eye, so I might miss. Okay, I'm using my right eye this time. He dead. Do I confirm kill? Oh, fuck it. Did I miss? Okay. I just don't want him getting up. That's it. You know, in case uh, this was the guy we just killed back there. I just don't want to deal with that kind of stuff. There's a panel missing here. Uh, that's eventually going to be a puzzle. 
Six, ten. Uh oh. Wait a second. He's dead, but that guy was a little weird. Um, I don't see him anymore. I don't see him there, and I don't see him there. Uh, there's gonna be ammo, yeah. Crouch with the feet. There we go. I'm gonna switch to the sh <laughs> Oh, you bastard! Oh no, 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 no! I gotta take cover, I gotta take cover, dude! Oh, this was horrible. He doesn't have a projectile. He has like a just a splash damage, so it's really hard to avoid. That was difficult. Okay, I'm really about to die. Why is there no syringes now, huh? Why did that stupid shotgun not work? I didn't have shells. Okay. My bad. Whoopsies. Well, okay, let's try and not make the same mistake twice. <gasps> the hell is... What is that? What is it doing? Uh-oh. Well, whatever it was, it's dead. He's dead too. For a moment there, I got really confused because I closed the eye that I was aiming with. <laughs> and uh, then I was like, wait, I can't line up. Now something attacked me around here. Oh, there you are, you bastard. Well, there is no point to go there anymore, I guess. So there is no point in wasting ammo on this guy. Where's the syringes? There used to be like a ton of them. Now they're like non-existent. Uh oh. This TV is done so. Oh, I hear uh, more of these uh, rats. You know what we do here, the rats? That wasn't a rat, by the way. Just so you know. Okay, there's the bastard again. I'm sorry, he's not. He's not a bastard. He's just. Uh... Okay. I don't see anything down there. Okay, I'm back. Had to wipe my nose. Okay. I guess we're going on ahead. All right. Why did I need a syringe so bad? I had so many. Uh, I hear something to my left. Well, nothing in the cabinets over there. What about this? There might be something below it, but is it worth crouching? Sure. Nope, nothing there. My kneecaps are gonna pop. <gasps> Syringe in the toilet, give it to me now, yeah! Oh no, you're supposed to hold? There you go. There we go. Now we're a bit better. Generally, you wouldn't want to take a syringe from the toilet and use it right away, but... I'll make an exception. Stay alert. That's the key for survival. What's that? There's a picture of a hand on it. I'll pick up the ammo. A jar with an image of a hand. It appears to be filled with fingernails. Oh, first of all, it was toenails, now fingernails. Good. Glad we could, uh... Get trash. I'll use the other syringe. There we go. We're getting in healthy range. Where am I? I'm here. 
So I went through there. Seven, oh, wait. I went through there, all the way around. Okay, just making sure so I know where I am. 630 is locked. 708, which is 608, we just came from. 614. Uh oh. I hear a flying? I got him? Whoa, I, I hear a lot of them. There's more- oh! Okay, this place is littered. I might have to go like, uh, one-handed for this for a moment, because there is just so many turns. I have to be a lot more, uh, mobile with my hand right now. Okay. I remember there was ammo here. Tippy toe touches five me, tippy toe. Touches ch touches me, not touch five me. It looked like exactly five. Tippy toe touches feelings deep inside of me. Cool. Glad that means more ammo for me. Don't think he spotted me yet. I'm kinda getting used to a aiming with my Oh, sorry, I forgot. Four shots. I wasted one. Got him. Any more? Oh, yeah, actually. Oh, come on, I ain't hitting that. Huh? Whatever it is, it's disgusting. The metal infection. Uh oh. Oh! Sometimes the controller does things that I'm not doing. I left the controller and he kept going. I could have hit... I could have hit that way earlier. Hey, you can fly all you want, bro. Takes more than flying to take... Ah, uh, there's no reason to hit him. There really isn't. He's not harming anybody. Hmm. Oh, there's something in there. I'll take it. Any more strange pillars that I can take ammo from? One of the pillars had. No, I think we're good. Let's go. Stay clear for me, buddy. I might not harm you. I knew I seen something strange. I was looking like that and I at first I thought it's like the back, but crap, that I really like it that uh, the hiding spots are very creative. Okay, I found tooth or teeth. Cool. I heard you, buddy, coming from a mile away. Yes, that's right. That's what happens when you don't use headphones. Okay, I gotta crouch. Oh, oh, oh my f- I nearly popped my entire feet off. That's what you get for scaring me, buddy. You get shot in the back. Okay. We did it. Um, I'm just gonna go. I hear more of them, but like, I'll see you later, guys. Oh, anyway. A jar with an image of mouth. It's filled with various rotten teeth. Oh, I thought it's just gonna be teeth, but rotten teeth, now that's scary. Anyway, we have four jars. That should aid us in the puzzle at uh, 7.13, was it? Um, we'll know once we get out of here. All right, I'll miss this apartment place, I really will. But I'm getting out of here. 
I'll just grab this and door. Very smooth transition. Really, really smooth. And go back to my apartment. Actually, I need the other jars. I'll have to pop right back into my apartment. It'll, it'll give me a moment to sort my items out too. Oh, I thought that's a gun. Okay, I'll, um, I'll throw the medical. I'll throw this strange ammo. I'll take some ammo with me. I'll uh, take these. And then I'll use one syringe. Uh, it, it's gone. Oh, it's in my inventory. Oh, no, it's... And I think we're good. Reload my handgun. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's get out of here. Come on! Okay, now, after I sorted my stuff, we're going back to 713, where you see the yellow is... 713 is... Hello, sir. I did not expect any visitors. Hold still, honey. <laughs> I can't hit him! He's really twitchy. Sir. Okay. Anyway, 713 was it? Puzzles? Yes. If the door can stop getting away from me and accept me for who I am. Okay. So here's how the puzzle go, by the way. As you can see, this is a... it looks like class, but it's actually like a, a figure, a man. It feels like I'm looking at a mirror, really. Anyway. Uh, so, one is feet, so the feet, okay, so the feet went to the heart, and the heart was like, huh, you think I'm just gonna hand out? Yeah, that's the code. Okay, we got it, we got it now. A jar with a foot, okay. So the feet went to the heart. Wait, the, what's it filled with? It's appeared to be filled with hair. Oh, I thought it's empty. My bad. Anyway, the feet went to the heart. And the heart was like, oh, you think you're just gonna, you, you think you're just gonna, I'm gonna just gonna hand out a truly sad story. Hey, there's the panel. Cool. Some ammo for my shell, my shotgun, my trusty, trusty shotgun that never failed me. Nothing down here. Back up. Ammo. I got it. Seems like I could shoot it if I wanted to. There's probably something underneath here. Fine, I'll crouch. Okay, nothing. I'm gonna have such like strong thighs after this. Like, after the gameplay session, I'm gonna have like the thighs of steel. Freeze! <laughs> Okay, that's a, a hatch. I guess the elevator, wait, why is there a hatch here? I need to use the elevator. Oh, oh, not this again. I thought I told you guys. Okay, 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 I'm leaving, I'm leaving. Okay, 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 okay. Just so you know, I had the situation under control this entire time. I just had to really quickly leave the room for no particular reason. I was not under threat. And whoever says that, whoever writes... You better write something nice in the comments, okay? <laughs> just now I'm reading the comments, okay? 
You better think very long on your comments you're gonna leave on the video. Alright, I'm watching you. I would never. Okay. Oh, and there I thought I have to put my hand down so I could, like, do things, but no. Oh. The elevator crashed. Wow, I think it would have been better if it just jumped up into the abyss. Yes, jumped up. Huh? Another elevator comes down in my head as I'm looking up. Okay. This door giving me an attitude. I hear strange moans. Oh, hello, buddy. I have a present for you. Happy Halloween. There you go. Next time I'll take you to see the sunset before you see the, your last breath anyway. That's a door without any ammo for me. I'll remember it. <laughs> Light bulbs. Looking kind of funny. Oh, my favorite TV. Open white, honey! <laughs> Just kidding. There's a note right there. The developer had the genius idea to put the note right there. Or the table! He's blocking it. That's cool. No, that's great. Duh. Duh. I know you guys really like the lore of the game, so I have to get it out. There you go. I did it. Now if I can find a source of light. Oh, the note is upside down. How could that have happened? There we go. The note experience. Oh! Don't you dare. Okay. There you go. I can actually kind of read this one, but uh, again, I don't want to waste your time. So there we go. Get a good look at that note. Because it's gone! There is a video card for part two right now on the screen. Click or tap it and it'll take you to the next part. If for whatever reason it doesn't work, there is a link in the top of the description to take you to part two. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you're enjoying this series so far. I'll see you in part two.